Yo, what's up? BQ here. This is the Impact Lounge YouTube channel. Thanks for swinging by, as always. Uh, something I wanted to talk about today. I'm sitting here in the car getting ready to head over to the gym for my workout for the day. But I wanted to talk about something that's kind of been on my mind lately. I wanted to give it a few days to process before I kind of spoke on it. And it's something that's been kind of bothering me. So I've been doing this channel for a while. There's a lot of opinions I have. Some are good, some are bad. Some positive, some negative. Some are taken you know, taken well by you guys as subscribers. Some are not. Uh, some some can be seen as, you know, me being overly negative or whatever the case. So there's some opinions of, I have of mine that change. And then there's some that are very steadfast that I really, truly believe in. So to give you some some background real quick on myself and why I hammer, why I hamper so much on Impact's social media and their YouTube and all that kind of stuff. So when I got off active duty years ago, I had enough money to save. I had enough money saved up to where I could I could live for a bit, and I wanted to go in business for myself. Um, you know, I ended up getting custody of my kids months after <laughs> that happened, and I had to you know start getting a consistent job, consistent paycheck. So, you know, that kind of that dream went out the window for a little bit. But I wanted to start my own energy drink company, and it's still a dream I have. But I don't know if it'll ever ever really happen. You know, because now I got mouths to feed to where I can't really afford to not have that steady income. That being said, in this time frame that I wanted to do this, I did a lot of research and studying on on building brands, on building audiences, on social media management, uh, content creation. Um, I got my degree in business. I got a certificate in marketing. So there, there was just a time of my life where I really studied this stuff and really got a good grasp of it. There's a lot of it that I could do better myself, but because being a YouTuber is such a small part of my, my life and my day, I keep it very simple. Like I'm talking to you right now on my cell phone. This isn't fancy, you know? So there's, there, there's more that I could do that's a lot better. But one thing that I've been very steadfast in is impacts so how, how they appre approach social media and their video content on whether it be YouTube or stuff they post to Twitter or Facebook, whatever it is. They've been doing this thing for a while where if a wrestler's in the news, they sign with another company. Ty Valkyrie signs with WWE. Christian Cage signs with AW. They post a video right away on their social media. To be clear, this is a social media strategy. You always want to take advantage of what's trending, what's in the news, of course. Like, I'm not saying they're not doing something that isn't out of the ordinary for, for brands. But I think it does hurt this particular company, Impact Wrestling. I think it does hurt them that so much of their um, social media is, is geared towards appeasing their current fan base. And when I say appeasing the current fan base, I mean the fan base that likes everything they do and isn't going to say anything bad, isn't going to be any, say anything negative and not and and the fan base who doesn't who doesn't want more, who doesn't want to see growth and who, who you know um see maybe better wrestlers come down the pipe, not a knock on who they have now, but I mean bigger names I should say. Uh ones who want to see the viewership grow and, and impacts plus subscribers grow and things like that. Okay. The ones who were just like, we just love whatever you do. I think they spend a lot of time promoting to them and appeasing them. And when they get the thumbs up from those guys, they're like, okay, we're doing, we're doing good things. That is a personal opinion based off what I see happen and what I've re what I've educated myself on. That's what I feel I, that I see. And, and you can't grow a brand when you're, there has to be a balance, yes, but you can't grow a brand when you're specifically trying to just appease the people who already support you. Yeah, you, you have to have balance. You do have to appease those people. You do have to please them. But there has to be a strategy too for growth. And when the period of time where I was really hot with the Impact Lounge and I was posting every day and do all this shit, I had different categories. I had my uploads that were for the subscribers, my uploads to get subscribers. And I had a couple other categories, but and for the most part, they fell into one of the two. For the subscribers who have who already subscribe to get value and then ones where I want to bring people in. And I honest to God don't know what their strategy is when it comes to 
YouTube and social media. I, I don't have a clue. As much as I've tried to learn about it, and I have learned about it, I don't know what they're doing. So why am I saying all this? Brandy Rhodes posts some maternity shoot photos the other day. I get it. Kristen Cage shows up at AEW. You got a relationship with AEW. You want to remind people that he used to be there. Cool. But Brandy Rhodes posting maternity photos and impact immediately. When I say impact, dude, I don't think this is Scott and Dawn. And you know what I'm saying? Posting classic moment. Classic Brandy Rhodes versus Rosemary. Or an angle with Rosemary. Brandy Rhodes didn't do anything classic in her time in TNA. That's not a knock on Brandy Rhodes. Because when she signed, I was actually excited to see what she could do. It's not a knock on Brandy Rhodes. But she didn't do anything classic in TNA. The only thing I'm going to put up there is when her and Cody showed up at Bound for Glory. And I was in the house for that. And that was a really cool moment. I would... I. I if you would have posted something like that, I would have said, okay, that was that was a pretty cool moment. But other than that, her in the ring or her doing other segments, she didn't do anything classic. Like, now we're just watering down that word. It's one thing when you post the Christian Cage debut, because that is a classic moment. The Kurt Angle debut, like, those are classic moments. If someone who doesn't really watch the company comes across, oh, classic moment, and sees some bullshit with Brandy Rhodes, like, this. This is the best they, they got. This is their history. And the problem is they do this a lot. And a lot of people really egg it on in the comments. They're, oh, yeah, you know, keep posting this stuff. And uh, now it's like it's almost become a game. It's almost like they're trying to be funny. L let's get this shit out there. You know what I mean? Like, oh, let, let, let's, just, let's just keep keep doing this. If they want to continue doing that, that's fine. I don't even hate that they do it. I hate that it's all that they do. I hate that the social media is so focused on that. And, and you know, the YouTube comments so focused on doing that with very minimal um, that to help today's product. Promoting today's product and then, sh you know, giving the news and the matches. That's, yeah, they do that. But is that... Is that them just tweeting or is that a social media strategy to, to bring in new viewers? You know what I mean? It's not. They're, they're just, but the only strategy they have is whatever they're doing with this, with the library to where, you know, they're, they're posting these videos. I thought this was disgusting. I was really embarrassed as an Impact fan. As much as I don't agree with this strategy, I just, you know, I choose to unfollow the YouTube and the Facebook. I still follow the Twitter. I've, I've chosen to unfollow those instead of like complaining about it all the time. I just I, I don't want to see it. But you know, someone posted in one of the Impact Facebook groups. Oh, you know, here's today's classic moment. And I I saw this Brandy Rhodes clip. I looked at the date, and then I looked at the date of the maternity photos. I said, man, now they're exploiting uh, maternity shoots. I thought I. I thought it was crossing a line. It's one thing if you want to post legitimate classic moments, but this is just reaching. And what do you, what are you going to do if someone does watch it? What is what is the strategy to keep them to to? It's like I said with YouTube. I had different categories. If there's a video that I'm 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 posting and I'm looking to get new subscribers, I also have to have a strategy in my head. How am I going to keep them engaged with my channel going forward? So you bring people in with a Brandy Rose clip. What, what, what are they, where do they go from there? So again, this is not a strategy I agree with. But if it was like 10% of their social media presence and the other 90 was like really forward thinking, I wouldn't care. I honest to God wouldn't. Because it is a strategy that companies use. But when you're, when you're sitting there and you're just taking any bit of, bit of news, it, you know, someone's like pregnancy was just a very personal issue. And you're just, let's post some, some bullshit clips, disguise it up as a classic, and uh, appease the people who love everything we do. You know? 
I'm just, I was disgusted by it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. There's things I like that they do. There's things that I don't like, but even the things I don't like, I'm not disgusted by, you know, this, this was, this was crossing a line. This was going too far. So I, I'm done with their, so I'm going to unfollow the Twitter too. I'm done with <laughs> the way they do this shit. I support this company. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to critique it in good and bad ways. Um, this is my favorite wrestling company. Even though I may say I enjoy AEW and I enjoy NWA, this Impact Wrestling is my favorite company. This is the company I support, and that's why I get the most passionate about it. That's why I get the most angry, and that's why I'm the most critical about it, because it's the company I want to see succeed and do well. But this kind of shit does nothing to grow your product. Nothing. You can say, oh, it brought in Impact Plus subscribers. It didn't bring one. I can tell you right now, posting that Brandy Rose clip didn't bring a single fucking subscriber you did not monetize in any way shape or form their library if they want if they want to keep putting it out and monetizing it that is awesome but you can still monetize youtube with engaging content they have chosen not to do that here's some things i would do just off the top of my head right now so that i'm not just sitting here complaining and and, and going off they used to have this one video uh, or this one series called My First Day in TNA, I think. And it would be an interview that, of course, Josh Matthews did with someone where they were talking about their first day of the co in the company. This was the most entertaining, interesting thing I have seen on their YouTube ever. And I remember one day they were just like, okay, today is the final episode of First Day. I was like, why? Because you don't want to create original content anymore? Like, that was entertaining and it, it peels back the curtain and we want to know their first day on the set, what they're doing. I would do more with shop impact. You know, like I don't buy a lot of impact merchandise. I buy a lot of wrestling shirts. Don't get me wrong. I'm wearing Ty Conti right now. It's one of my favorite wrestlers in the world. I buy a lot of wrestling shirts. I don't buy a whole lot of impact merchandise because I don't think a lot of it's very good. The shirts. And also a lot of the shirts that, you know, I might see, on TV with another company, they have a way of marketing it to where I'm like, oh, I, I want that. But Impact doesn't really do that. You know what I mean? I like the Rebellion shirt. I think that's clean. I'm gonna, I want to get the Rebellion shirt. And I got the Rich Swan Championship shirt. But I would do more with Shop Impact to where when you're releasing something new, I would, I would put together a video promoting their. You remember when Don West came back for a bit? And he was doing all those brown bag specials and this and this. Like, shit was shit was getting hot with with uh, Shop Impact and people were buying shit. You know, and people felt they needed to get in on. It. There was points where he was selling junk. You know, like at one point he was selling like this green jacket that didn't even say Impact or TNA or anything on it. He's like, get the green bomber jacket. You know what I mean? At one point they're they're just selling shit, but it was working. I would have some content based on uh, content like this is the new so and so shirt, and I'm even gonna take it a little a step further. When you wish one these wrestlers happy birthday, instead of wishing wishing consequences creed happy birthday, who's not with the company anymore, if you if you're say hey happy birthday Rohit Raju, I would release a freaking Rohit Raju shirt that day, um, a brand new one. Support this guy on his birthday. Da 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 da. That's easy. It's simple simple social media marketing and and gets you know we get a bump in merchandise. So those are just a couple things off the top of my head. I've also brought up. And ha a half hour show similar to like AW Dark where they're trying talent out. Um, two to three matches. They randomly, because I used to like when TNA did did these kind of things. They randomly choose their opponent out of whatever it is. A hat, <laughs> whatever, lottery system. And, um, and you deliver it that way. So it's not just, hey, here's the match, you know, like... We, we first get to know the independent talent. Some kind of small video package with them. And then, okay, now we're, and they do a backstage interview, and then they draw their opponent. I would be interested in something like that. Um, let's see if I can think of anything else off the top. This is off the like really off the top of my head where I'm like, even like going with this shit. But there's stuff you can do. Not hey, check out Brandy Rose. I'm I'm really going off here for a while for a good 15 minutes, you know. But it drives me crazy, folks. It drives me effing crazy. So you can leave your thoughts in the comments. Um, I, I know there's going to be comments here like, oh, it's not that big of a deal. You're being negative. 
that happens every time I spit an opinion. So I already know that's, uh, that's going to happen, but you know, leave your thoughts in the comments. <laughs> we'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.